In this video, I'm going to find all the non-negative integers a and b such that the square root of a plus the square root of b equals to the square root of 2009. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This seems to be a very straightforward um, uh, thirds equation, equation about thirds. So uh, the first thing that I would do is to uh, square both sides so that it becomes a plus b plus 2 square root of ab equals 2009 because the most tedious thing in these kind of equations are the radical signs so the thing that I would, I would do is to remove all of them and then I'm going to move the a plus b to right hand side and it will become 2 root ab equals 2009 minus a minus b and I'm going to square both sides so now the radical signs all vanish. This is what we are going to have. But this equation is actually very hard to solve because, uh, say, 2009 squared is a very large value, and then there are lots of other uh, terms that um, you cannot factorize them all together. So this method seemed to be uh, not working. But in fact, this is the only way out. So removing the certs. It's the only way out, but when we remove it in this way, it will not work. So what I'm going to try is to remove the search in another way. So maybe I can try to move some of the terms to the other side. Say root of a equals root of 2009 minus root of b, and then square both sides on this equation. So a equals 2009 plus b minus 2 root 2009b. Now from this, I can say that um, 2 root 2009b equals 2009 minus b, oh, sorry, plus b, and then minus a, square both sides, 4 times 2009 times b equals 2009 plus b minus a whole squared. So we know that this term is a perfect square because a and b are supposed to be non-negative integers so this part 209 plus b minus a is an integer and so the square of that is a perfect square so that means the, what, the term highlighted in yellow should be also a perfect square as well this is different from what I've done on the left side the things that I've written in red because knowing the fact that a, 4ab is a perfect square uh, means nothing. It just means that a times b has to be a perfect square. So uh, that's not really helpful. Now, to proceed from this, you have to notice that 209 is actually 2025 minus 16, which is actually 45 squared minus 4 squared. So I can factorize it. To, be, to become 45 plus 4 times 45 minus 4, which gives 49 times 41. So that means I can further simplify this to be 2 squared times 7 squared times 41b, which equals to 2009 plus b minus a whole squared. And that means 41b, just this part, has also also has to be a perfect square. So I can say that because 41 is a prime number, so therefore b has to be equal to 41 times some perfect square, some non-negative integer k. Now from this, I can put it back into um, this equation. Maybe I can put it back into this one label this with a star and I substitute b equals 41k squared into uh, equation star. Then a equals 2009 plus 41k squared minus 2 times square root of 2 squared times 7 squared times 41 times 41 k squared 
and the things inside the square root are all perfect squares so it simplifies very quickly so that a equals 2009 plus 41 k squared minus 2 times 2 times 7 times 41 k and that is equal to um, maybe I should not in, uh, multiply the number so quickly but I'm going to take out 40, the common factor of 41 instead so 41 times 49 plus k squared and the remainder uh, what remains in this uh, in the bracket should be uh, 2 times 2 times 7k which is 20 uh, maybe uh, let me check whether anything uh, went wrong that the, this two square should not be inside. Let me label this again. So that should be 14k. And that is 41 times k minus 7 whole squared. And that means a has to be, the square root of a, sorry, has to be root 41 and this number multiplied by the absolute value of k minus 7. I um, intentionally added an absolute value of on k minus 7 because we do not know that whether k is actually uh, larger or smaller than 7 but we have to ensure that uh, square root of a under this radical sign has to be a positive number. So therefore the original equation becomes root 41 times the square root of k minus 7 plus root 41 times k equals to 7 root 41. So that means the absolute value of k minus 7 is actually equal to 7 minus k. Now the only thing for this to happen is that, um, uh, which is um, the fact that um, the absolute value of some number is equal to uh, negative minus 1 times that, times that number itself. So that means k minus 7 must be must be negative or 0. And combined with the fact that k is a non-negative integer, we can say that all values of k between 0 and 7 would work. So that means, for example, It can be 41 times 0 squared to get a 41 times 7 squared or 41 times 1 squared and then 41 times 6 squared and so on all the way up to 41 times 7 squared and 41 times 0 squared. So these eight solution these six, uh, eight order pairs are our solutions and we can easily see that it will work because if we put this back into the equation, it would just become um, root 41 times um, two integers added together, which must be 7. And so it would be equal to right-hand side. So these eight pairs are our final answers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.